been another fantastic Stacey Adams. Go on. Tell, tell us about Stacey Adams. All right, uh, Stacey is uh, he's an alcoholic. Um, he was a glue baby. Uh, if, if you don't know what that means, it's when like parents have a kid to try and keep their marriage together. Uh, but unfortunately, he worked, uh, and he's been and his parents have been miserable ever since, and they've put that on him uh, as he grew up. And so he's turned into quite a weird and strange individual. He's quite friendly, generally speaking, but he can be quite sort of vitriolic and nuts. He, he certainly doesn't come across as the broken. He's not as broken as you'd expect. Potentially. No, no, I mean, I think a lot of it, he hides quite a lot of it. I just write, you know, see what happens, see what comes out, and sometimes something in the news will, will pique my imagination, and I'll start jotting ideas down, uh, or you read a, a paper, you see, a, see an advert on a tube train or anything. Some, some couple, uh, like I got a joke about Marks and Spencer's, and I actually saw the argument happening. Um, and I just thought, how would Stacey kind of take that, and where would he go with it? I was in Marks and Spencer's the other day. Uh, I was in the lingerie department, I got lost. I went in for Percy Pinks, it was, it was a mistake. But there was a couple having an argument, and she's like... Yeah, if, he if he's on. got that in him, then yeah, I'd love to take him, take him like further beyond sort of, sort of 10, 15 minute, 20 minute sets. Um, but uh, part of that's my development, I've got to develop as well. Um, it's not just uh, he has to develop, you know, there's, there's both of us, so to speak. This is getting very complicated. <laughs> it's very conceptual. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, I feel much cleverer than I actually am. Uh, but no, yeah, basically I'd like to go and take him much further if I could, if there's that mileage in him. But I just have to try it to see whether that mileage is there. Mother didn't like me very much, not at all really. She, um, I remember when I brought my first girlfriend home to meet the parents, I thought my mum would be pleased. I thought she'd be proud I wasn't a snivelling little queer. She told everyone I was. But no, she just told the girl she had self-esteem problems and then, and then gave her a rape whistle and told her never to talk to me alone. Thank you.